Hey guys, what back to Charles of Zero here. Hope you're all having a great day. And I got another build for you, and it's this one right here. This is a Viking workshop. Or whatever you want it to be. Basically, it is a big old shed. That's what it is, basically. It's uh, another different design I've come up with. And it's got the four pillows that really do stand out on this build. And it's using a lot of core wood. With your normal wood, and combine them both together, but giving it a couple of different layers. As you can see here, it's not all one build. And I've even put stake walls in there to keep all intruders out. So they can't just like sneak in and get your valuables that you've just made on your workbench or your forge. Uh, you could also use this as a big old storage house it would also work as that or if you know you could you could have this as a base your house your main main house for a little while wouldn't last you too long because it, it's very very small it's not that big but i think it looks uh pretty cool for a shed because <laughs> basically that is all it is it's just a shed but a good looking shed right without further ado i think it's time we built it so get your hammers ready and uh let's go to the the blueprint template and then we'll jump into the build also the materials are available that you will need for this build but i have put them in the video description that way it saves you from uh I'm going to go back and forth in the video to, uh, you know, see what's needed. If you're not writing it down, because if you're like me, I, I don't like to write it down. I like to keep it in my head. I'll keep going back to the main source. So I'll put, put the description in the, I'll put the materials in the description so that you can just scroll down and uh, have a look that way instead of going back and forth in the video. Right. I'm as ready, let's go.
Right, okay, there we are. We are done. We have built it. And, uh, yeah. As you can see, I mean, you probably saw at the beginning of the video, but I got a little bit carried away with the... with the... banners. On the top of the towers. Which I, I thought looked cool. Cool. Cooled. Cool. <laughs> and... As you can also see, we've got smelters on the outside, some wood. I mean, you probably put a fence around this building as well. Keep the, uh, keep the greys out because they like to come in and, uh, you know, say hello. Uh, but, you know, you don't really want them. But yeah, a little bit of deco on the outside. There's not much to it, like size wise, but Design wise, it, I try to get as great as I could for a box, basically, because that's what it is. It's just a square box. And I wanted to see if I could uh, come up with something that looks quite tasty for a square box. If you know what I mean. Right, let's go inside. Right, basics. We got your forge, workbench, and all the add ons. To get it upgraded and we got some uh, storage down here and also upstairs more storage and stone cutter and this which i forgot what it's called what the hell uh yeah <laughs> alchemy table yeah so yeah that's it really pretty uh pretty basic but like i say you could also use this as uh a storage unit, storage house, or a star house, maybe, you know, because it's just coal wood. You can get coal wood as soon as you make a flint axe. Yeah, so you could have this as a very early game. You would just have to put a fire in here because you may, may notice there's no fire in this building. But, uh, yeah. Easy to add a, add a fire to the back there. Rearrange a few things and yeah, could use it as uh, your starter house. Or early game house, I should say. Because, yeah. Anyway, right, that's it. Here we are done. That's the end of another video. Sorry, I was stretching there. <laughs> So remember guys, if you like it, smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, then why the hell not? Do it. Press that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps me out. And I appreciate it. So do it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, guys. Appreciate everything. Thank you very much. And I'll catch you in the next video.